Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Ali Shamo here. Late night live. Sorry, a little bit late. Nine minutes late. Oh my goodness. Nine minutes late. Well, because my encoder was not working. So uh, I had to use the web camera right straight, I mean, straight away for the YouTube live, which is very, very good because YouTube actually gives you option to use your web camera. Hello, Diva Sadek. <clears throat> so, welcome once again for the late night show with me. And uh, good morning, yes, good morning and good night from here. I mean, it's good evening, I should say, <laughs> not good night. Um, yes, in this show, uh, we are going to see what is coming next on my channel and what you should expect to see in coming days. I actually uploaded videos until, I don't know, 26, 28 May. There were tons of videos that I had to upload. Now, those videos are coming to an end. Today is 19, so a couple more days, and all those videos will be done. And then we'll be getting to even more exciting stuff. I know those are exciting, nice videos. I love them. And we are, hello, Jerry, how are you? And we are going to bring even more exciting videos. So I have been preparing for the past two days. <clears throat> I have been 3D printing something or, well, not only 3D printing, but ordering a lot of stuff from the local Chinese uh, eBay counterpart that is Taobao.com. And uh, that is something that a lot of people who actually visit China, they ask me, hey, um, um, thank you very much, Jerry. I'm very, very good. Um, yes, a lot of people who come to China, they often ask me that, hey, where can I find a hobby shop in China? And I said, just like in any other country, if you go to a hobby shop in China, they will, uh, they will cut you real nice with their sharp knives. The best place to buy stuff in China is Taobao.com. Unfortunately, it's all in Chinese and sellers don't even speak English. So... Uh, if you have a Chinese friend, you can buy a whole lot of stuff really cheap and nice. Um, so let's just start. Hello, hello, Perth. Um, hello, Zia. How are you, man? Um, thank you very much for subscribing. I really, really appreciate your support, Diva Sadik. So first off, uh, I have been busy doing 3D printing for this bad boy right here. Check it out. Now it looks, oh, man, it looks Awesome. I mean, I have got the roof cage. Okay. I've got a little scooter there. I have um, jerry cans with gas cans. I also have the rescue little bridges right here from the sand. These are very, very good for rescue in the sand, mud, or anywhere on the rocks. And I also printed the uh, front bumper guard, nice and strong. And uh, we have a shovel. We have a small X here. We also have a fire extinguisher at both sides. We have a pickaxe at this side. And uh, at the moment, I don't want to drop it. And we have a jerry can, gas can at the back side, and a little fender uh, guard right here. And to show you, I mean, to, to carry stuff, you can also open this pack right here and carry more stuff. Now, where do you put the battery in this? You can actually remove the whole top and put the battery in, which is a very, very nice place. Hey, it's not, well, it looks like a Toyota, uh, <laughs> but I don't know. They cannot call it Toyota because uh, they will have a copyright issues. Okay, let me, let me just put the things down, okay, and show you where the battery goes. Because that is the best place for the battery. It's very, very realistic right here. So this is how in many of these trucks you have uh, a compartment and that's where the battery goes. Check it out. This is this is by far a very, very nice design from uh, WPL. By the way, this is WPL C24. This is a really nice and authentic looking Toyota. I don't know. But uh, after the 3D printing accessories, it looks really nice and badass. Now, the only thing is I'm going to make a video about this truck, and the title of that video will be Watch This Before You Buy This uh, WPL C24 Truck, or any WPL, actually. Basically, WPL is making really nice uh, detailed models. But before that video, I can tell you this is... Kind of between hobby toy grade. It's a crawler, 10, 10 kilometer per hour speed, 
and uh, it doesn't have a servo. That's what they call it, a rudder machine. <laughs> well, because it's because the Chinese uh, version says doji means rudder machine, of course, and that means the servo. So this does not have a servo, but you can easily install the servo to modify it and change the radio to a better radio. It comes with a very toy grade um, clicker kind of radio for the turns, but it does have a proportional uh, throttle control. So you can control the speed of this truck very well. And for off-roading, off-road trailing, I mean, a little bit of off-roading, not very hard for performance. These make a very, very fine choice. And they are pretty cheap as well, 48, 46, 49 dollars probably. And once you actually modify them and put your accessories on them, these are amazing good value uh, trucks. So this is a short version of that. Watch this before you buy WPLC 24. The longer version of Watch this before you buy w, uh, WPLC 24 will come very very soon. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Mr. Perth. Perth Waste, thank you very much. Uh, waterproof, Carlos is asking, is it waterproof? Well, I would say no, it's not waterproof, but the motor is pretty high. You can see down there, motor is pretty high because of the ground clearance. So you can actually put it in the water until it, um, I mean, to the level where the water is not gonna touch the electronics and it should be fine actually. Bang bang steering. Yes, that's what we talk about. Thank you very much for telling me. It's such a nice uh, <laughs> term for this. From now on, we will call it the bang bang steering. Yeah, it's just, you know, bang 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 bang. It just does like that. <clears throat> um, it's not off topic, Jerry Nader, a bit off topic, but what do you think a good beginner drone racing setup it is? Well, for racing drones, I will suggest um, if you can. I will advise you buy parts and build the very first one all by yourself. It's a little bit of pain and a long process to uh, to get it in the air and very, very stable. And nowadays, most of the things can very, very tweakable. And most of the things uh, like, uh, you know, normal PIDs just simply work. So I would suggest you make it by yourself because this is how, this is where you will learn how to make, build, tweak, you know, and repair because you will be crashing them so often that you need to learn to repair. You can also buy, like, I, I don't know, I have to pick it. You can also buy very, uh, many, many, actually, out there ready-made, these FP racing drones. Uh, but the problem is um, you don't know how to repair them once you crash them. So I would suggest you build one. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward, and you will enjoy that. <clears throat> what kind of battery life on this one? On this one? Hmm. Battery life on this one is basically pretty long. I mean... 10 to 15 minutes, not a problem. I have played the old ones. They go very, very long time. Waalaikum salam always. Thank you very much for your kind prayers and best wishes and kind prayers. Back to you, Ramadan Mubarak, to all the Muslims around the world as well. I hope you're fasting. I hope you're praying. Well, uh, Mr. Kishore, it, uh, it's, uh, the question is where you are and what is available. And then we can see which 180 scale nitro is good. But why do you want? Why do you want to go nitro? Thank you. Thank you very much, Carlos J. J. Uh, J. Thank you very much. I love you and love your support, man. Thank you very much. Um, back to Mr. Kishore. Um, nitro is dirty. Nitro is too much trouble tuning the engine, buying nitro, smoking those smokes. You have to inhale those toxic smokes. Um, go electric. Go electric. They are super duper fun. They're faster and more powerful. Yes, uh, sure. In India, I'm not sure what is available. If you can email me at alishadmar.gmail.com and show me some choices, show me some links, I can give you some guidance on that. <clears throat> WPL military truck. Perth, I actually drew it for 20 minutes. I had one WPL military truck, the very first one. I actually drew it for 20 minutes, and it actually took uh, about one kg of stones in it. That was nice. I mean, this this also can take. It's basically the same thing. They just change the bodies on top. This is basically the same thing. Hello, Zobin. How are you? Okay. All right. Uh, next, what is coming on my channel is, of course, you can see at the back side right here. Can you read it? It's upside down. I don't know. The image is mirrored, but you can see the picture 
That is a sweet Icon A5. Now, I have been after Icon A5 RC plane because I'm looking for a very, very nice sea plane. I'm, I'm living very close to a river, just like five minutes to walk to a river, and I don't have a plane that can land and take off from water. Mm -mm, not gonna go, not gonna do very good. So I was looking at Icon A5 and I found some things like uh, from E Flight, from others. Those are pretty expensive and those were small. Some of them were park flyers. So as as again, as I, I was saying, that that's the charm of the local Taobao here. I was searching on Taobao using some Chinese translation and guess what? I found this. Let me just show it to you. Uh, this one, this one is brushed. All right, so this is what I found. And one more. Ah, oh, check it out. This is almost size. This is a 1.8 meter, 1800 mm uh, Icon A5. Um, uh -oh. I'm I'm hurting my helicopter's backside. This is an 1800 millimeter Icon A5 kit, and I plan to prepare it with a 6S setup with a 6S battery. It's going to be very very nice and powerful. I already got motor. Um, I have ESCs. I have servos. I have everything. I've got autopilot. And guess what? I've got one more thing. I was having issue with my Futaba and recently I lost my beloved Sabre <laughs> back to that topic. <clears throat> it just flew away because the Futaba didn't give me much range. I don't know why it has to some it has to do something with the interference, greatly increased interference in our area. So I went ahead and bought myself the Free Sky L9Rs. Right, yes, L9R are the specially designed long range receivers from Free Sky. And now I can <clears throat> use my Tyrannis X9D or uh, where is my Tyrannis? Where am I? Another? Okay, I just put them inside the box. Um, or Tyrannis QX7 radio systems. And this receiver, I can easily fly six to eight kilometers, I believe, which is more than enough uh, to fly this uh, Icon A5 right here. So the thing is, <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, people. Uh, when when um, people say, "Oh, that's huge," I just want to say that's what she said. <laughs> anyway, so yes, um, this is very very nice kit that I found online, and it's pretty cheap. Trust me, it's pretty cheap. Um, I'm gonna prepare it with six S setup, and I'm gonna fly it up and tweak it. Once it's all tweaked, I'm going to put FPV system with autopilot in it, and I will be able to do some long-range flights with this one. Uh, that is going to be awesome. Uh, can't wait to prepare this baby. Actually, I wanted to unbox it right here live. We will do it very, very soon. <clears throat> Thank you very much, William Payne. Yes, I'm going to um, going to reply your email regarding the shipment. Don't worry, you'll get it tomorrow. Today was uh, today is weekend. Tomorrow is weekend, but tomorrow, inshallah, I will reply for you that. Um, <clears throat> there's another BGL video coming very very soon um, on how to set up BGL on. Um, um, I made a video on fixed wing, but the other video is coming for uh, wings, flying wings, how to set up. But basically, it's very, very easy. The procedure is the same. You just have to switch the uh, number two up, and that should be for the wings. So thank you very much for your order. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to this one. Let me just unbox it and see what's inside. I haven't seen it. I was waiting for this live session to unbox it. So let's unbox it and see what's inside. Uh, this is what's next coming on my channel and much more much more exciting so there's a secret plan that we are going to prepare we're going to build it hardware is on the way we're going to fly it that plane is awesome you are going to love it uh, but i cannot show it to you right now after uh, i get the permission from the manufacturer to show it to you we're going to show it to you don't worry uh, is there any place in China where the TX are sold for cheap? Well, there are many places in China where TX are sold for cheap. But the problem is if you're outside China, you have only a few options like AliExpress. Um, um, what else is there? But Banggood, Gearbest, TomTop, these kind of websites. Um, AliExpress is okay. Or eBay. You can find a lot of Chinese sellers on eBay or Amazon. Uh, that's a good option. But uh, if you have friends in China, they can order for you from Daobao. Very, very cheap. All right. Okay. <clears throat> If your friend is in China, just ask your friend to, uh, you know, get you something. All right.
Um, I'm gonna go a little farther from the microphone. So I'm not sure. Um, sorry, sorry. I dropped my microphone. I hope you didn't get any shock in the ears. If you have a uh, headphone, well, I can always leave the microphone. This sweet icon A5 for you guys right here on live show. Wow, this is big, man. I need a bigger room. I definitely need a bigger room. All right, check this out. This does look very, very nice kit right here. This is the first time I'm actually looking at this kit. So we have stickers and a little user manual right here. All right, I gotta keep it safe, nice and safe. After that, I mean, check out the size of the wingman. Not bad. It's a colored foam. Uh, not bad. Aha! This makes me very happy. It has flaps, ailerons, and the servos looks like uh, small servos like uh, my 3kg torque uh, KST servos will do just fine. So we have one wing. We have something stuck here. We have two wings. Awesome. Oh man. Oh man. This this is wow. One moment. Man, I need to give this baby some love when I'm preparing it. Ah, come on. Check this. Out. This is nice and authentic. And to be honest, this kit is also coming with a retracts. Check it out. Retracts are already installed. What else you need? You can drive it on the road, on concrete, and drive it straight into water. Retract the uh, wheels, and you can go straight with the water capabilities. And we have a small rudder right here for steering in the water when we are in the water. Awesome. Man, this is nice. What else do we have here? We have my favorite, <laughs> the uh, strengthening spar for the wings. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Okay. Ah, thank you very, very much. We have glue as well. Awesome. Okay. And finally, some wooden stuff. Oh, the motor mount. Yes, of course. All right. That's it. Anything inside? Man, check this out. I mean, this box is so big that I can actually fit in this box properly and ship myself somewhere. <laughs> I could actually lie down in this box. That would make a very nice thumbnail. All right, let me just put it aside. Okay. Uh, give me a moment. I just want to see a little bit of this fuselage. Ho, 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 ho. Man, this is awesome. I mean, I'm really, really excited about it. How do, oh, this must be taped at the moment. I'll find a way to open it, but there's a, there's a <clears throat> dashboard. I mean, there's a scaled cockpit right there. Imagine if I could replace this with a proper one. I could actually install an FPV camera inside with a pan because there's a lot of space. 
man, that's going to be an awesome FPV view from inside. This is superb. Awesome. Can't wait to build this baby. So I'm just going to leave these things here for now. <clears throat> All right, and grab my chair again. Give me a moment. Let me adjust the views. Okay, no, nope. one moment. All right, much better. Hmm. All right, I'm back. Let me just read a little bit backward uh, on the um, comments. Hi, Mayor, um, Mayor uh, Char Charetkar. I will I will send you some links for WPL, or you can simply send me uh, an email at alishanmajibir.com, and I can give you all the links. Uh, WPL C14. There is a six-wheel drive version coming from WPL as well. Six-wheel drive. Uh, Already some some sites already have it. Hello, Auntie. How are you, Auntie Blog? <clears throat> can I put a 3S on a 2S plane, uh, Carlos Jemelin? Yes, you can. If your motor and ESC actually are rated up to 3S, you can easily put 3S on that. <laughs> all right, Perth, that is a typo, I believe. I deleted from those boring drones because all you can do is fly and shoot some aerial footage. Um, I'm not in aerial footage anymore. I'm getting into these. These planes are nice. They can go long range. That's the, that, that is where the fun is. <clears throat> yep, I didn't step on the wing, Rashid, don't worry. Rashid or Rashid? Rashid. You're welcome, Perth. You're very welcome. Walaikum as salam, Abu Tayyiba. How are you? All right. Jerry Nader is asking, quads or RC planes? I will say, oh, it's hot, man. I will say RC planes are more fun, but it all depends on your mood, what you like, what your heart likes, stuff like that. Still, for me, RC planes are much more fun. Hello, Jimmy. Okay, so that is a nice question from Kaushik Tinker. Which website did you buy that Icon A5? Now, <clears throat> the thing is, um, I don't know if you can see the box here. It's all Chinese here. So basically, this is probably a Chinese uh, manufacturer who is actually making this one. And trust me, you will not find this kit online. I have checked on eBay, Amazon, and all I can find is 1.2 meter only. That is a 1200 mm wingspan Icon E5 from E-Flight, ready to fly and PNV version, and they are absolutely expensive. This kit, I don't want to tell you how much I got this kit. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cheap, but after you put your stuff inside, it's gonna be somewhere close to I don't know. I didn't I didn't do the math yet, but I will keep you updated with the videos of this plane. The build I should do time lapse build. I should do maiden flight. Uh, we are also planning a chase with the boats and the quadcopter for this one, so we can shoot the takeoff and landing on the water. Ah, oh, this is gonna be beautiful, inshallah. <clears throat> so I'll keep you updated on how things go. <clears throat> yes, Awaits, that is my email. If you have any questions about RC plane power combos, feel free to email me. Thank you very much. <clears throat> uh, the Volt boys say it's the day in France. Well, in France, it must be daytime and it's nighttime, late night here. So, uh, <clears throat> Abu Tayyiba, um, landing gear are waterproof? Well, so far, yes. That's what the uh, seller says, the landing gear is waterproof. I haven't seen the kit completely. I haven't set it up yet. So I have to see um, how it goes, uh, how it will, uh, it will work. I believe they have some kind of system here that will take uh, just a little bit of connecting rod from a servo to put the landing gear up and down. And that connecting rod will uh, probably 
not allow the water to go in. But I have to check again, and of course, I will keep you posted for that. All right, Michael and Michael. Uh, okay, Michael is asking. Sorry, <laughs> my English is not good to read the names. Helis or drones? Definitely helicopters. They are much more interesting. Definitely helicopters. 3.30 a.m. in New Zealand. Come on, i 4 2D. What are you doing at this time? You are not even sleeping. Thank you very much for watching this live show. <clears throat> this one, yes, Perth. Uh, the videos are coming very, very soon, inshallah, for this one, Icon A5. And if I could just uh, cheat and show you the picture of the plane that I'm going to build, that a secret plane, and you, you will probably not sleep. You will probably hang on to the live video show. Jerry Nater, yes, I found the Phantom to be boring, and I already sold it out, man. So sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jasmine from Malta. Hello for Jasmine from Malta. <clears throat> okay, so uh, I have just shown you two of the items. Uh, one is Icon A5. One is this uh, sweet WPLC24. And the third one, hmm. Third one, I believe I can show you a picture because I didn't want to tell people what I'm going to review next. But anyway, now that it is going to arrive, I believe I can easily leak this picture. One moment. Where did it go? Where did it go? Give me a moment. Check this out. Can you see it? Yes, it is visible. This thing is already packed with all the goodies. LC24. Now, if you are wondering what is this, well, this is the Red Cat Racing Everest. Generation 7 RC crawler, and it is coming very, very soon. It has a titanium or steel chassis on it. Man, that is going to be simply badass. I can't wait for this to arrive and post some reviews. And inshallah, I will be posting uh, more Red Cat Racing reviews. I'm hoping to get Nitro cars back because still there are a lot of people who are playing Nitro RC vehicles and they are having some troubles with the engines tuning and stuff so i would love to get back to the engine and tuning stuff and make some tutorials on how to properly start the engine properly maintain the engine and properly uh, tune the engine grease monkey all right <clears throat> yes race uh, race yet. Uh, it's all all about the personal taste the helicopter drone rc airplane it's all about personal taste Thank you, Locker. Thank you very much for your support um, from India. Thank you very much. Man, India is a fascinating country. I wish I could visit it. All right. So, wa alaikum as salam, Shamir Khan. Uh, Carlos, uh, well, I, I prefer electric RC cars now. I have played with gasoline. I've played with uh, nitro. Uh, they are good. I mean, the engine sounds and everything is very, very good. However, however, the amount of tuning, the um, oily hands, the, uh, the highly flammable nitro that you have to carry, this all counts. You know, I, I simply didn't like it. So I came to electric and I just stayed with electric. Uh, what's coming next on my channel? It's sitting right here. Just a moment. Where are you? It's right under my crawler. I found this one. Um, Firefly Q6. It's upside down right here. Firefly Q6. Uh, as I lost my GoPro 4 on a flyaway plane recently and I had no other cameras, so I ordered this one. This is pretty cheap as well. And it shoots up to 4K, 24 frames per second which is very, very nice. Um, and the other question is, why did I go with this? Is because it comes with a cable like this. It's a USB cable, which will plug at the back of this camera right here, okay? And you can plug this side in to a video transmitter and you can get live video while you fly and record 
HD video on this Firefly Q7. I heard some good things about Firefly cameras and people say they are very, very nice, but I haven't had chance to test it. This time I got it so and show you all how good this Hawkeye Firefly camera is. Um, I'm already using the Hawkeye Firefly micro camera, which does a very, very good job, pretty cheap, and makes a very nice crash camera. So seeing this, how nice it worked, I went for another Firefly right here. <clears throat> the video uh, of this Firefly should uh, accompany the videos. I mean, should be on my channel uh, in coming up videos, of course. Hello, uh, mosquito lover. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Arcid Expert is a uh, mosquito um, mosquito rights uh, protector, I believe. Thank you very much, Arcid Expert, to come back on this late night show. Today, there are no mosquitoes because I have already killed them all. So I'm feeling really nice and good today. <clears throat> Mobius, Mobius is a good camera. I used that before. Really, Perth? Good to hear that. That Q6 is a good camera. <clears throat> I have to actually uh, 3D print a very good mount because looking at it, you can see how much the lens is sticking out, right? And once you get a scratch on this lens, it's not that's gonna be very very nice so I'm gonna actually there there is actually a protect lens protection uh, a little bit of the cover right here but still after you put it the lens is still sticks out oh I turn it on so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually 3d print something to protect the lens and a very nice mount for this where I can actually pan this camera and tilt maybe as well <clears throat> nice, very good. 1080p mode, uh, electronic image stabilization. That's good to hear that, man. <clears throat> Arcade expert, I'm not going to answer that question. I'm sure you feel very, very good doing that as well. <laughs> yes, Shamir Khan, inshallah, um, uh, when it's time, I would definitely uh, visit Pakistan. Pakistan is home, man. Pakistan is my country. It's my home. Hi, Gamers19. Very good. Thank you very much. How are you? So, um, yes, coming up next, of course, uh, let me see. I completely forgot what coming up next. We are just, you know, uh, floating away from the topic. So we have the WPL C24 hitting this one, all right, which I make look very, make it look very badass. And then we have Icon A5. This is the one which, F, of course, I'm also waiting for. Can't wait to see. How it flies, and after that we have the uh, Q Firefly Q6 review, and of course I also got a neat little autopilot. Let me just bring it out. <clears throat> All right, I just brought everything that is coming next on my channel, um, and that is a lot of lot of work. I'm really really confused. I don't have much time actually all day long. I'm busy editing, uh, shooting the video, editing the videos, preparing this thing. All right, so here it is. A uh, little thing in this. It was pretty cheap. It's like uh, 330 quai, uh, Chinese RMB. This is an autopilot with built in OSD, uh, uses M8 and GPS. <clears throat> and it has auto return to home and lots of cool, cool features that you can tweak and control. And they say that it is an autopilot with artificial intelligence and it's just 330 quai. That's really cheap. So the thing is, there's no user manual. And the only user manual I found was in Chinese. Check it out. Even this little paper, 3D, uh, I mean, printed paper is like you know, fading away. But I heard the thing about this autopilot. It has a built-in OSD. It has auto return to home. It has the probably auto launch feature as well, and much more. <clears throat> I mean, what else can you expect? So, once I found how to set it with the right uh, user manual, I will be posting a complete review of this autopilot. Now, the thing is, I searched this autopilot on Google. Mm -mm, there's no way you're gonna find it. There's no way you're gonna find it. Only one or two AliExpress and some people are selling it, but they don't have user manual. They don't have any information at all. So first, uh, let me test this autopilot. Let me see how it is, and I will be posting 
uh, a complete tutorial of how to set up this autopilot and we will see if this is really really good i will definitely make it available to people and uh find the company of course who makes it find the company <clears throat> all right next of course i don't know if i showed you this the next review is going to be sky rc mini smart balance charger discharger sweet it also has an app so you can control everything from your mobile phone all right that's nice but it does not have a power supply you have to have a power supply or use a bigger battery to charge a smaller battery then we have xiaomi me too drone dji Tello killer i am going to open it tomorrow and uh, play with it and see how it goes then we have the aircraft sound system from gt power uh which i can install in icon a5 and enjoy some turbo prop sounds that would be nice and then we have a car simulated sound system with 58 different car sound in it. Um, I can install it in this. No, I, I'm waiting for the uh, Everest Gen Generation 7 from Red Cat Racing, and I will install the sound system in that RC crawler, and we're going to have lots of fun with the sounds. So all these reviews are going to come on my channel, inshallah, in the coming month. That is month of June, because the May is completely booked with all the videos. All right, uh, Mr. Fat Nika, um, I don't understand what you're talking about. Um, could you please explain? A variety store, how much the price? Price of what? Price of what? Xiaomi drone, Xiaomi drone. Well, it's pretty easy. You can simply um, type on Google, Xiaomi Me Too drone, and you can easily find the price. I, I never cared about the price. Uh, I have a couple of friends in Xiaomi company, so this actually speaking came straight to me with a highly recommendation. Uh, I didn't purchase this honestly, and I'm going to make a, a very honest review of this, okay? Um, the thing is, uh, right now I can tell you that uh, DJI Tello is the competitor. I mean, this is the competitor for DJI Tello, but this one has um, uh, infrared battle capability with another Me Too drone. So if you have two Xiaomi or three or four Xiaomi Me Too drones, you can basically have a drone battle with your friends using that infrared battle drone feature in this. It has a built-in infrared shooter and receptor as well, which is very, very nice because it just increases the amount of fun. While you're boring flying it around, you can go ahead and battle with your friends. Hello, Unbox Warehouse. How are you, buddy? So this is uh, so far uh, all coming to the channel. Uh, um, I completely forgot to tell. Um, as I don't have space in this room, I had this uh, Icon A5. So there's one more thing that I would like to uh, show you uh, with a picture only. So you will know what's coming next. Oh, man, that secret plane picture is here. You want to see what that secret plane is? All right. Um, I don't want to show you, man. Uh, I'm tempted to show, but I don't want to show. <clears throat> Um, bam, 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 bam. Just give me a moment. Let me just find that picture, if I could. Well, you have that plan in my icon on um, on YouTube. Where are the download section? Download, download. All right, we've been testing this thing, and it's super, super fun to fly. It is a lot of, lot of flight time. On a six and ten thousand milliamp, it's over an hour or so. Beautiful plane, beautiful aircraft, <clears throat> and it is a uh, VTOL. Check this out. This is the uh, my flight in Nimbus, uh, called Space Arrow. Nimbus vertical takeoff and fly, vertical takeoff and landing, and you can switch. Uh, during the flight to forward flight or you can hover during the flight anywhere because you can switch from forward flight to hovering mode So these videos are going to come very very soon. This plane is simply awesome. I've flown it once um, And this is going to be fun um, I'm also planning some more chases and if it is really really nice. I would love to go back to long-range flights That's gonna be fun. I actually miss that chimney visit to the chimney, going under the bridge, going to see the fast train. All these things will be fun. Does the Xiaomi drone has GPS? One moment, let me ask. 
<laughs> well, it has a, uh, it has a, how to say the uh, um, optical flow and ultrasonic to uh, hover um, indoors. I don't know if they had GPS. I honestly speaking, I haven't studied the uh, specs or anything on this. It came uh, four days ago and it's uh, still in the box. I never touched it, but very, very soon I'm going to give you all the information. Unbox Warehouse uh, is asking, where are you from? I just spoke in a little bit back in this video that Pakistan is home. Pakistan is home. China is home. <laughs> well, if I say China is home, I don't look like Chinese. Well, maybe from the Xinjiang side, I do look like that. But basically, I'm from Pakistan. Hi, the uh, Guinness. Yes, uh, we are back in China, not in Dubai anymore, unfortunately. Dubai didn't uh, suit. <clears throat> Hi, King Marv. Uh, I would definitely love to help you for your MyFly Dream battery. Could you please email me at alishan.gmail.com with your uh, MyFly Dream picture, the aircraft picture, and tell me what is your setup, and then I can suggest to you if you uh, if uh, what kind of battery you should use sema x5 sw man that was a toy i discarded it long time ago okay uh mr my life he says i never leave comments but i've been watching your channel for a very long time and keep up the great work you have come a long way since california thank you very much uh yes it's it has been a long long journey in my life and uh today i feel the journey is not over yet there's a whole lot to do on youtube as well though the new youtube algorithm is killing killing us uh youtubers but i am still going strong and inshallah bring you more entertaining more eye-catching and more attractive content exciting content on youtube Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your support, continued support. Yeah, that's the benefit of living in China, uh, the, the Guinness. Uh, that's the benefit of living in China because you get all the toys faster. You don't have to worry about shipping, customs, or anything. Yeah, Butayeba, Pakistan has a lot of talented people. Unfortunately, talent is not supported there um long story sad story hopefully one day there will be a day when they will support talent all right so it is going to be uh, 12 p.m that is midnight here i still have a lot of more things to do um there are eight minutes more to go ah arcade expert there's a mosquito here check it out where is it you want to see uh oh it's gone arcade expert there's a mosquito here <clears throat> Thank you very much, Perth West, and have a nice day or have a nice night, please. And enjoy. And we'll be seeing you back on the live videos or watching my videos. Thank you very much for your support once again. And have a nice, have a nice day or have a nice night there. Arcade expert, I'm gonna leave these mosquitoes for now. Um, so until some questions come, I'm gonna just put the things back. Give me a moment. That's a nice truck, man. Oh, by the way, there's a very nice video of uh, ALZ RC 505 is coming on my channel soon. Um, I went crazy flying faster and faster and faster. I want to see how fast both of these helicopters can go. The 420 and 505. I really want to see. I have a um, speed gun now, radar gun, and we're going to bring that out. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we can try it and see which helicopter is faster. Yes, definitely. Helicopter videos will follow. These two are the helicopters that I don't want to crash. And I fly them very, very carefully. I don't go crazy on that.
Okay, right. Almost there. Um, maybe I can leave early tonight because uh, it's Ramadan and, uh, you know, we have to get up early for fasting, for the seher and then fasting. But tomorrow I do have a fly day and when, while fasting, I won't be able to stay too long outside. So I'm planning to go outside in the afternoon and get some flights on the helicopters, get some flight on the uh, Sky Easy hanging back there and get some flights on... The flying bullet. Do you know what is that? Guess what is the flying bullet? What is the flying bullet? That is the question I'm going to leave here. What is the flying bullet? And that flying bullet videos will follow, of course, because we are planning a dogfight with that flying bullet. It's going to be difficult because that thing is really fast, but it's worth a try. It's going to be fun. So, everybody, thank you very much uh, for watching this little uh, late night show. What's coming up next? Now, you know what is coming next on my channel. There is a whole lot, whole lot coming on my channel. And I'm all alone here doing dealing with all these videos. But I will do best to bring you everything that I've shown here and, um, you know, honest and straightforward reviews of all these things. Not to mention this little 600 milliwatt video transmitter that I have here and I also 3D printed some shells for this one. So stay tuned and thank you very much once again for all your support. Do watch the channels uh, on my channel, uh, all the upcoming videos. Don't miss them. Please subscribe to the channel and stay updated. Uh, there's a little bell icon once you subscribe. Please hit that bell icon as well so you get notifications of all the upcoming new videos. Uh, late night show is all the way to the end. Thank you very much, William Payne. And I have to head to the bed, wash, and have some sleep. Thank you very much once again for all your support. Thank you very much for watching this video. And much more has to come on my channel. Enjoy. And have a good night. Good night from China. No. I gotta clean the home before clean my room before I go back to the bed. Thank you very much. See you everybody. Good night. Where's the end screen button? Oh, right here. Still not ended? Bye. Bye bye.